Hey makers, today I'm going to be talking about some of the differences in Leechy uh, Slicer Pro versus the um, free version, some of the um, things you can do with it, and if I think it's worth it or not. Uh, I've been uh, doing some models for a while now, and I've, I've managed to model uh, and print successfully some fairly complex models, like this one here. This is probably the most complicated model I've I've printed yet as far as supports go, um, mostly because there's a lot of very delicate pieces that are uh, sort of free flowing that encircle the object, along with sort of wings, points, uh, and some other uh, some other sort of fine details here that that needed support. But I was able to support this whole thing using only the free or uh, uh, you know options, n none of the advanced options for any of the supports. These are just the sort of basics and the basic sliders available. As you can see here, the model came out okay. I didn't have any broken supports or uh, anything that gave me any pause or worry. Um, the whip and everything came out fine. It was, it was actually sort of difficult to trim off all of these in a, in a delicate way, but uh, but it did come out okay, and, and all the details, even sort of the points on the hair here, the horns, um, points on the wings and things were, were properly supported. So I'll do a uh, another video with kind of my support techniques to show you how I did this. Uh, but for now, I just wanted to show you that the model came out okay just using some of the basics. If you open up Leechy Slicer, uh, uh, let's just grab our chicken here. Uh, to give us some some of the basics, so of course you can start by moving your uh, moving your piece around, center, arrange those kinds of things. You can scale it. I like that you can convert it to uh, inches and get a measurement if you want. So you can see how uh, how tall this is. So if you're if you're looking to change this model to a particular size, you can say, hey, I'd rather this be, you know, I don't know. Closer to two inches, and then you can you can have a sense of, of how tall you want your piece. Uh, I think some of the other things you'll be familiar with, as far as being able to arrange and move. I like this little objects position here. If you have more than one object, you can you can hide your objects. Uh, it makes it easy to see. Uh, and so uh, some of the I have this set up for the mono uh, uh, X printer so that's my uh, that's my print dimensions here uh, the real power primarily uh, in slicer pro uh, I would say most comes in two things uh, error checking on your model uh, let me see if I can if there's a if there were issues with your with your model here when you when you open it you'll have a panel um, that I think you've you've probably seen one is uh, will tell you if there are uh, holes, problems that I, that it identifies with the model, uh, and the free version will do some level of correction, and then the advanced version will um, do even more error correction. Um, you have to have an account with that uh, uh, with that other tool. So I haven't I haven't used it yet, simply because I sign up for as few things as possible. So. Uh, I haven't had any problems. Again, uh, like I said, I've I've printed some pretty complex pieces, and I haven't needed some of these advanced tools. But but let's get into some of these advanced pieces and see. Most of the advancements are in this support uh, panel here. Uh, so you'll see if you're looking to let me just raise this guy up a little bit so we can see our uh, super chicken. So a lot of these uh, specific um, widgets to modify the support type and support shape uh, are unavailable to you on the free version. I'm, I'm currently running the 30-day uh, evaluation version. Uh, so let's say put a support here. This is, is pretty much all you'll get with the free version, right? You can you can plop supports down manually, you can put them as many as you want. The nice thing on the free one is you you are still 
in control of you get cone shape which I think is probably the most commonly used uh, you do have sliders you're are these are all open you're able to use light medium heavy or custom and you're able to customize even these selections so you can see I'm not using uh, I had this set up for a much taller model and I, I was using some heavy supports for that uh, but I uh, and so the, these are all included with the free. Uh, in advanced, you're able to use cross-shaped. Advantage of cross-shaped, it probably s saves a little resin, but still maintains some strength. Uh, cube. Again, I don't... I don't see a huge difference in being able to modify the shape of this necessarily. I don't think it saves you a ton. I don't think there's a, a dramatic difference in strength or support uh, uh, level of this. So uh, I would say for the most part, cone is likely sufficient. Uh, some of the nice pieces you do get to, to uh, modify uh, some of these tip types, this might be important, but again, uh, penetration by default is, is going to be zero. You're already allowed to use the tip diameter or modify the tip diameter in the free version and also the length in the free version. So, uh, break point and penetration, I don't know, I don't know if you'd want more penetration than, than zero. That would push, uh, push the, the, the tip further into your model. I, I don't really see a use case for that. So uh, the midline, again, uh, you can change the diameter already, but in this scenario, you can have a, uh, a different top and bottom diameter, which, again, I don't, I don't really see a huge need for that. Uh, if, you know, you, you can either have the, for example, this cylinder, you can have it one uniform uh, diameter or you can make it you know a different shape at the top and the bottom I, I don't I don't see why you'd want to do that either um, and then base diameter maybe you would want to change these although I'm not really sure why you'd want to do that too much either so uh, that that uh, uh, s some modifications to the tip maybe some modifications to the base potentially like if you've got a model where you're trying to uh, let's say move move this around and get around let's say this foot and you want to be able to kind of grab and drag it out that's pretty handy right uh, but but uh, that's you know it's neither here nor there I think you can you can probably get away with it just by seeking an, al an alternate angle and putting it over here instead of putting it over here. It's putting it over here and avoiding the foot, something like that. So uh, all in all, you probably can work around some of those things. Uh, the other uh, oops, the other advanced uh, option you can get yourself is uh, when you're doing some of these manual supports, you can, you can really grab the gizmo and... and you know, modify this in a way that's can really maybe get you around some, like I said, some complexities. Uh, however, if you deform these too much, the support itself might not be strong enough to do the the shape that you're that you've kind of created. You know, so uh, I think there's pros and cons here on on these features. It's it's pretty uh, handy. Like I said, if you have to have a support in this one spot and you need to work around it and you can sort of craft something that's that's stable enough maybe uh at some point if you did something really wild you'd you'd, you'd likely want to have a another connection point uh that's that would support it in this angle uh so that the support itself doesn't get too weak but um that's the that's really the primary I would say difference in in the advance. There's a couple of uh, hollowing um, hollowing uh, features that are in the advanced. Uh, you're allowed to modify modify some of these parameters. For the most part, though, again, I've just used uh, 
you know, you're, you're allowed to use this slider uh, and lat I've just used this slider and lattice on the free version. I don't, I haven't messed with these settings a whole heck of a lot. You, you can change the wall thickness on the free version, so, uh, and of course you can still create holes and things, and, and these, these sliders are the same on the free versus pro, so, uh, as far as any export settings, I think these are all the same. Uh, so I would say the pr the primary uh, differences really come in in way of support and, uh, and and support, which is not insignificant. I think if you're if you're looking to really, uh, like I said, I, I don't know. I've I've done some pretty uh, pretty sophisticated uh, prints and that had some spiral shapes and some things twisting around, but uh, um, didn't need to use any of these widgets. However, that being said, uh, will I be registering? And and how do you register? Okay, the, it gives you the cost in euro. If you've subscribed for a year, this turns out to be about 36 bucks for the year. Uh, I'm inclined to... to subscribe just because I think this product uh, th this lychee pr uh, slicer product is excellent and I want the company to continue making updates to it um, and for 36 bucks for the year I, I think it's worth it I don't it, worth it to support the company is it worth it for those features like I said I haven't had to use them yet will I need them at some point I don't know will it be nice to have them if I do need them yes uh, but I, I genuinely think, mm, for most um, cases, the, uh, the the free version is sufficient. That, though, because of that, uh, I feel inspired to support the company because they're making a great product. They're not uh, intentionally handicapping the product in such a way that it forces you to, to purchase. Um, so I, I find that really uh, the kind of company I'd like to get behind with my dollars, and, and you probably should too, um, if you like the tool. So again, uh, figured it was worthwhile walking through some of these if, if you uh, couldn't see what they looked like. Um, but uh, but again, I, for the most time, I use these. Haven't needed anything too, too crazy yet. But uh, anyway, be coming out with some other updates. I'm, I'm going to bring a... Uh, um, some support tips and tricks that I've I've learned while using the tool, and uh, um, I guess maybe show you how I've used some of these uh, basic features while uh, doing some um, more intense modeling. So stay tuned for that, and th that'll be coming soon.